Got the motor ready to go in. It's actually uh, 401. It has the LAT, the new uh, GM 6.6 .6 liter LS rot rotating assembly installed into a LS block. Drops right in. A1 Racing. I uh, had them do the CNC port work on the heads. These are aftermarket heads, 64 cc combustion chamber. My compression is about 10, 10 to the one with the dish to come on the factory uh, LAT pistons. It's my blower. There's the 6090 and the circuit gear converter. This is a stock CTS VK member. Rack companion, front suspension sway bar the whole nine and this has been dubbed the franken wagon by guys on the cts page okay so getting ready to try to lift the engine in the engine bay area then my plan is to bolt the engine to the cradle or bolt the engine to the trans and then bolt the engine and trans to the cradle and I'll be using the hoist to support it once it's in place and down there then I'll have to get up under the hoist or I can use the hoist to lift the engine and, and, and uh, trans combo up in the air that's what I could do um, I just got to get it up high enough where I can start to bolt the cave member in so that's the plan motors going in today coming up on the wagon so so far I've taken the blower off turn it over to the side and I married the engine and K member outside of the car and then I used just the wheel dolly to roll it back now now that it's kind of sitting in place before going any further need to marry transmission and engine so once I get those two bolted together with uh, with all the bolts then I'll be able to move the engine around I do have a dolly under the trans too and these are the locator pins here I don't know if the camera's picking that up too well but here on both sides they're tapered they drop down into these holes on the K member and the bolt goes through, it's threaded on the frame side. Same thing over here. So I, I'm looking at it, I can see the engine has to go over a little bit to the passenger side to the right. But first things first, I'm gonna get all that in, try to be careful, not mess up the valve covers. And I gotta try to get that steering shaft to slide up in there all in the same, same token. So we'll see how we can do the song and dance. But first, let me get those two married. It has been a long couple hours. Not, not that long. I was about to start fibbing. But motor's in. For the most part, I routed the uh, harnesses. Like I said, with the engine harness, it plugs into the body harness here with this black and purple connector. And the V6 body harness is still on the car. We plug right in. Same thing on this side. Engine harness plugs in right here. This had a blue connector on the inside 
Um, so we it's black with the blue on the inside. Now coming off of the body, this guy here uh, is still on the body harness. We don't have a corresponding connector on the V8 harness. So we'll see how that plays out. But what, when I looked up the information for the 2010, the only two body harness plugs was this one and that one over there for the 2010 CTSV. It is possible that this here has to do with the uh, V6 only. It could be the all wheel drive system. It could be the DI system. It could be the vacuum pump for the brakes. In any event, it is not on the engine harness for the uh, V. So I'm gonna look up this connector and try to see what these circuits here are for. But everything for the V is contained in this harness. Now, also my connector here, this is for the coil harness, coil and uh, spark plug coils and, and injectors. I'm sorry, harness that goes on the side. I haven't hooked in these little trees yet to hold this up because it is more that I need to do. Lift the supercharger up, some other things. Over here, I may have to extend this wiring for the throttle body. When I heard guys went to the LS7, I seen that's what they had to do. Also, the EVAP. I don't have my EVAP uh, purge solenoid yet. I need to add that. Um, yeah, the harness kind of just laid out how it's supposed to go. This down here is for alternator, knock sensor, and I'm not quite sure what this is for yet. I'll have to look up this connector here. Try to figure out what that is. I have to make sure that this is the ground. This is coming off the engine harness. And this connector here. I had to see what this three pin connector is as well, uh, which is missing the uh, cover and everything, but I'll get that off another connector. This here, I'm sure this three wire connector here is the cam position, which I'll just plug in right there. Um, the wheel speed sensors plug into the harness here and over here. And uh, I have to see what this connector is here for. These two wires, the connector was actually missing. It almost looks like a serial data wire set because it's the tan and black and then the all tan. But we'll look that up and see what that is. And then as far as the ABS module, like I said, I'm gonna relocate that to over here. But the connector from the engine harness is plugged right into that. No problem. Uh, the engine harness side snaps into the body harness side for the main fuse box. That's there. Um, this wiring here will go up for the battery lug when I put the main fuse box in. And mainly I wanted to put this in so I could put the fuse box in and get the engine harness in. Once I have those two in uh, and then plug in the trans, I should be able to communicate with the engine computer with those uh, three plugged in and the trans computer. And I want to flash in the CTSV calibration into the trans, stock V calibration. So that's it. That's my update for today. Motor trans is in. Next thing I'll be doing is trying to communicate with this transmission and uh, yeah, see where we are with it. Talk to you guys in a minute.